Described as a generous and religious man with impeccable, unmatched work ethic, this is how mourners describe Dr. Richard Mopanya at his uh, uh, memorial service at the Rosebank Union Church. That happened on Friday. Of course, today sees the funeral taking place. It will be happening at the University of Johannesburg. We see the family, and that's where Sakina is located, at the house of the uh, Mopanya family. And uh, she's there. She's been watching some of the uh, guests and VIPs arrive, and the family of course, all saying their final farewells at the house until that uh, cortege moves towards the UJ University, the uh, University of Johannesburg. That's, of course, where uh, the service is going to get underway. And we know that the president is going to be delivering the eulogy there. But Mbali is actually standing by at UJ, Mbali Mtetwa, SABC News reporter. And I believe that she's joined by uh, Jeff Khadebe. Mbali, a very good morning to you. Good morning to you too, Leanne. We are based here in uh, Soweto, where the service for the great legend that is Dr. Richard Mabonya will be held. We are just waiting by the gate, waiting patiently for the family and for the funeral procession to make its way to where the service will be held. We understand that uh, Dr. Richard Mabonya passed away last week, Monday on the 6th of January in the early hours of the, of the, of the morning. Uh, we understand that he passed away after a short illness. We've heard from different people speaking very highly of the man and speaking about how much of an inspiration he has been to them and to their lives. And we heard about a meeting or a celebratory uh, lunch that was had the day before uh, his passing where he called his family and um, to celebrate really and just be together as a family one last time. Little did the family know that that would be the last time they would have actually spent time with him or you know seen him or even spoken to him but at that meeting he he then urged the family to always serve the community we've seen the community of Soweto coming in their numbers inside there are a lot of people who are coming who have come here to pay their respect to the man who inspired uh, so uh, Sowetans and who also put Soweto on the map through the his vision that was the uh, Soweto, the, the Mabonya Mall, rather. We understand that it took him many years to, you know, realize that dream. And it was a great experience and a great moment for him when that dream was finally realized. Um, but for now, let me speak to former Minister of Energy, Jeff Khadebe, who is going to be talking to us about his memory of Dr. Richard Mabonya. Thank you so much for speaking to us. How will you remember Dr. Richard Mabonya? Well, firstly, thank you for inviting me to this interview. I first heard about uh, Ndate Maponya through his son, Roy Maponya, who I was with at a boarding school in 1968. That's how I knew the name of, of uh, Mr. Maponya, Richard, and his dear wife, uh, Marina. Uh, Mr. Maponya will remain the quintessential business icon of South Africa. Also, too, he was an inspiration, a pride of our people. Many people only know him as a businessman, but also he had a political side. He was in the forefront of the struggle for freedom and justice. He was a comrade in arms of our icon, Nelson Mandela. We'll recall when Nelson Mandela was released in February 1990, it was Ndatema Ponya who organized a transport for him, and he made things very easy for Ndate Nelson Mandela. So we should remember him not only as a businessman, but as a huge political figure. And of course, that relationship between himself and the late former president started way back, back when our former president, Nelson Mandela, was still a lawyer. Talk to us about that. Well, uh, that is, is recorded in history that uh, uh, with uh, Mandela in Tambo office here in Johannesburg, he was uh, an, a, an attorney of many South Africans, including Richard Maponi. So that tells you that he was not only interested uh, in uh, economics, but also also in politics, but as we know now, the political freedom that we attained in 1994 is meaningless unless it is coupled with the economic emancipation of our people. So he had a foresight that unless we deal with the economic structure of the South African society, we'll never be able to solve this triple challenge of poverty, unemployment and inequality. 
Of course, we understand that he was very passionate about skilling people and education. We've heard from various uh, people speaking about him, saying that he urged family members to, to educate themselves. And he also went, he even went as far as uh, opening and leadership and entrepreneurship school with uh, the University of Johannesburg. How do you feel about the unemployment and uh, how do you think going forward government, what government can do in terms of honoring his memory uh, and also just doing the things that he would have loved to see the, economically for the country? Unemployment is a scourge that is ravaging South African society. We now know that uh, without skilled people, we'll never be able to solve the problem of unemployment. So Ndati Maponya had, was, had that premonition that unless we skill our young people, they will not be adapted into the new economy, which we call the fourth industrial revolution. So it is of critical importance that government spends every cent that it has to educate our people. That's why even now, when you look at the budget, the education budget is the single biggest item on the national treasury budget item. So it is very pleasing that uh, what Ndate Maponya lived and died for, our government is pursuing to its ultimate objective. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, there you have it. That was our former Minister of Energy and former Minister in the Presidency, uh, Jeff Khadib, speaking to us on his memory of uh, Dr. Richard Maponya. We understand that the funeral procession is making its way to uh, UJ, where the service will be held. And, you know, we can't talk about Dr. Richard Maponya without talking about the monumental um, Maponya Mall that will always stand as a memory of his legacy and a point, a point of pride for many South Africans and many people who live in Soweto. Um, it's back to you in studio for now.